Why did the Emperor choose this path? Now our trade is we live. Dune 2 wasn't always a sure bet, despite what fans might have wanted. However, it didn't take too much longer after the success of Denis Villeneuve's Dune movie for the sequel to be confirmed and the huge cast list to begin adding names. Officially titled Dune Part 2, the sequel will take fans back to Iraqis to tell the rest of the story of Paul Atreides. With Villeneuve's decision to split Frank Herbert's novel in two, Part 1 ended on a massive cliffhanger. Villeneuve even has his eye on potentially a trilogy by adapting Herbert's Dune Messiah for the third movie. We imagine it'll depend on the box office performance of Part 2, but never bet against Dune. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, here's everything you need to know about Dune, Part 2. My Iraqis. My Dune. Dune, Part 2 was originally set for release on October 20th, 2023, but was pushed back to November 17th, 2023. No reason has been given for the delay. Unlike the first movie, which was released on HBO Max on the same day that it hit US cinemas, it's likely that the sequel will have an exclusive theatrical release in the US rather than a day and date streaming release. As mentioned above, filming commenced on the sequel on July 18th, 2022 and will take place on location in Budapest, Abu Dhabi, Jordan and Italy. Assuming there's no delays during filming, we'd hope that we'll all be returning to Iraqis in November 2023 as planned. Fingers crossed. When filming was announced, we were also treated to the official confirmation of those returning for the sequel, as well as the new faces we'll be seeing. Timothy Chalamet is back as Paul Atreides and his co-lead in the second movie will be Zendaya's Chani, who we knew would have a larger role to play in part two after Paul finally met Chani at the end of the first movie. This is only the beginning. Other returns include Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Jessica, Javier Bardem as Stilger, Stellan Skarsgård as the villainous Baron Harkonnen and Dave Bautista as the Baron's nephew Glossu Rabin. Uncle, how can we let this happen? How can the Emperor take everything we've built and give it to that Duke? Like Zendaya, Bardem is set to have a bigger role in the sequel as he revealed to Vanity Fair that the expanded sequel role was part of Villeneuve's pitch to him. He said, I have a small role, if there is such a thing, as the second part of the book the role will be bigger and I would love you to do it if you want to. And I said, of course, I want to. I don't care if there's a second movie or not, he recalled. However, don't go expecting to see Oscar Isaac back as Duke Leto Atreides or Babs Alusanmokun as Jamis, given that they were all killed off during the first movie. Book readers will know that there's potential for Jason Momoa to return as Duncan Idaho later in the series though, but probably not in the sequel. The fates of Josh Brolin's Gurney Halleck and Stephen McKinley Henderson's Thufir Hawat were left up in the air after House Harkonnen's attack on Iraqis, but they've both been confirmed to return in Part 2. There will be plenty of new faces among the cast too as it's already been confirmed that Part 2 will see Elvis star Austin Butler as Fade Rotha, Florence Pug as Princess Urulan, Christopher Walken as Emperor Shaddam IV and Lee Sedu as Lady Margaret. The official plot synopsis for Dune, Part 2 explains that the film will explore the mythic journey of Paul Atreides as he unites with Chani and the Fremen while on a warpath of revenge against the conspirators who destroyed his family. Into a Coriolis storm. Facing a choice between the love of his life and the fate of the known universe, he endeavors to prevent a terrible future only he can foresee. The first movie covered just over half of Herbert's book, ending as Paul and Lady Jessica were accepted into the Fremen and on their way to Stilger's home. With House Atreides pretty much decimated, it's going to be them against the Empire in the sequel, where we're sure to see more of Paul's visions of his future coming to life as he leads a revolt against the Empire. Villeneuve revealed that he had toyed with ending the movie later with the book's time jump, but realized that his first intuition to break after Paul meets the Fremen was the right place to end it. Thanks to Paul's prophetic ability, the first movie contained exciting teasers for what's to come in the character's future as he contends with his ultimate destiny, one that could be connected to Chani and the Fremen of Iraqis. Villeneuve teased the sequel would go a little bit deeper into some of these details, including the aforementioned Fade Rotha. It's like a chess game, he said. Some new characters will be introduced in the second part. The sequel, he says, will feature much more Harkonnen stuff. Even if you've read the book, Javier Bardem has been teasing how the sequel won't just be a straightforward adaptation so make sure you don't consider your speculations as fact just yet. Kill them all. You have ships. Who needs to get off world? Why did the Emperor choose this path? Now our trade is with them. 